Welcome back to 17 on set. Joining us this morning is Dr. Corey Gonzalez here to share us new information about opioids, how they play a role in chronic pain. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Alex. Um, how are you? Let's doing well. Let's talk about chronic pain because yeah. it turns out there's a lot of people in nationwide and Kern County that suffer from this. Yeah, about 100 million people in America, about 127,000, about a third of the people have chronic pain. It can actually have a tissue damage where there's actually a problem there, mm -hmm. but also there can be not tissue damage where actually it's more of a neurological thing, rewiring of the brain. So it's a big problem, it's costly, we have to address it. And a lot of people who have chronic pain, and we've done stories on this locally, also nationwide, turn to opioids. Right. To, to fix this chronic pain. Right. That's not necessarily the case. Well, we've had a lot of problems. We've had about 45,000 deaths from opioids, and we're finding that it's not indicated, and there's been a big 180. Mm -hmm. uh, big Pharma made some big deals with insurance companies. Opioids were out there, and now we're saying they're no longer any good. So people are having to find new ways of dealing with this, and coming off this stuff is important. Anybody that has knows somebody on high doses of opioids ought to have Narcan around, which is a new uh, nasal spray that has the opposing effects, saves lives, and to get off this stuff, of Suboxone is really helpful as well to come off this up. It's not easy, but there's other ways of coping with chronic pain. And we should know that our local law enforcement and first responders actually are using Narcan because right. they have said that it does save lives. Arvin Police Department uh, earlier this week uh, is starting to use Narcan because once again, they're getting that message across that that nasal spray truly does save someone who may be overdosing on an opioid. It has a opposing effects, but you need to back off because the people will come up right. very heightened arousal. But also 500 milligrams ex ex extra saying Tylenol with a 200 milligram ibuprofen was shown to be just as effective for pain as 10 milligrams of Percocet or 15 milligrams oxycodone. New research. Yeah, I was going to say, what can people do if they do have this chronic pain? Well, there's different things you can do. Mindfulness techniques, cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, relaxation techniques, yoga, things like that help rewire the brain when they've had that problem with the scrambling in the brain. Also help with less aversive effects from the pain. They learn to observe the pain not react to the pain, less clenching, it helps you manage the pain in a much more effective way. So simply even something as taking some deep breaths or yoga can be very, very uh, crucial here. Well, you have to look at the way they think because right. in the brain, the wiring, the amygdala is all the anxiety, the limbic system is emotions, hippocampus is memory. You got to rewire those things with cognitive restructuring and you can rewire that stuff through cognitive behavioral therapy. Very interesting. Dr. Corey Gonzalez, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Very interesting stuff. All right. We'll be back after this.